In this video, I'm gonna share with you five quick tips on how I decluttered ClickUp and fell back in love with it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrew. I'm a lifelong entrepreneur and on this channel, we explore the strategies and tools that help underdog entrepreneurs like you become calm, unstoppable CEOs in business and in life. In the last video, I talked about my big mistake with ClickUp and you can check that video out right up here. Today, I wanna to chat a, a bit more about how I fell back in love with ClickUp again by doing going all Marie Kondo on my ClickUp. So what I wanna do is just share my five tips on what I did to change that love affair with ClickUp. The first one is custom label everything. If you know anything about me, you know that I actually love labels. Uh, list, views, automations, don't stick with those generic views inside of ClickUp. Um, let me go inside of here just in one of uh, that you have. Let me go into my actions database and you'll notice when you have views, there's typically just, it'll say table or list. So you wanna customize those views to something that makes sense and is descriptive to you so that you can easily find it. Then the other big tip is reduced the amount of required views. So let me go inside here like my in my life OS Go inside space settings, come down here to more settings, and then go to all space settings. And I can't remember which ones are on by default, but you'll notice that there are a lot of different views that you can have inside of your ClickUp lists. So you wanna turn all of those off by default, because what'll happen is when you create a list, you're gonna have all of those columns go across the top. So it doesn't mean that you can't enable these later but just turn them off for now and just have one default view. So that is a, a great quick tip because I found I, I would go inside of a list and I would see all those tabs and it just, it became overwhelming. The other thing is to have standardized naming conventions. You'll know one of the things we did here is a little lightning bolt emoji. I know that that's a quick list and it's referenced in other places inside my ClickUp. And that was where we have the standard uh, naming conventions. My second quick tip is to use automations inside of all of your lists. You know, how, see that little automate button. So think things like Zapier. We know we automate things, but you can automate a crap ton of things inside of ClickUp. So like for this one, I'll just give you one of the things that's sped things up for me is if I'm going to add a new task inside of my actions, uh, list. I can go to add automation and then one of the things that I like here is on creation and it gives you some kind of pre-formatted uh, recipes if you will that you can use for automations. And one of the things that I like to use I'm going to go back up in here to just my custom automation is that when a task is created and again you can select how it gets created so any task that's created it goes to that list Things that I like to do are change. Um, I can apply a template and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I'll talk all about templates. The other thing I can do is set custom fields. I've got a lot of custom fields. I can set the content type. As you can see here, I can, I can do a lot of things. So make automations your friend. That's one of the things that I did and it just sped up that repetitive nature of just getting things in to click up. Now, if you're like me, you'll know that I also love templates, templates, templates. That's one of the big things that I love about ClickUp is the ability to have templates. So one of the things that I do want to recommend is you have a list and have a template repository. So one of the things that I have is I create a little quick shortcut button straight to my ClickUp templates. And here is my growing list of ClickUp templates. So I've got them listed by content type. And then this is a task template inside of ClickUp. So if I go inside of here, this is kind of your master record. So what I started to do was I created, you know, templates in different places and then I forgot where I actually created those in the first place. So have a master template repository list. It's like this for me is just my template library list. And as you can see, I've got that little lightning bolt. So I know that that's referenced in other places inside of ClickUp as well. So those templates, again, speed things up for you. And if you're like me, 
growing entrepreneur, I'm a tech guy, made things too complicated with the first time around because I created way too many task lists and then I had way too many ideas list. So that is my quick tip number four is have one action list and one idea list. That makes things much more consolidated for you because having things in multiple lists, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And we're all guilty of that. So having things in one spot uh, is gonna be, it's gonna make things front and center. You're, you're gonna be able to focus as a solopreneur or a small team. Uh, you mentioned one of the things, keep that hierarchy flat as, as you can. So less spaces, less folders, less lists and make drop down menus your custom fields your friend i'm going to show you an example that i have on that so if i go inside of actions and you'll see inside here i've got different custom fields so i'm gonna go ahead and hit, uh let's see here go here then i'm gonna to go to custom fields and you can see the different custom fields that i have so is it's related to a project the frequency of how often this task takes so let me just show you what that looks like. That's the one that I use a lot. So I'm going to come in here, add a column, and then I'm going to come down here to frequency and add that to this table view. So now I just have the drop down, as you can see, make those custom values your friend. Custom fields are awesome. So this is how I categorize things, but having a central repository of having one list for ideas and one list for actions. And again, I've set this up on my phone so I can quickly capture actions, things that are, those are tasks that I need to be able to take care of so I can go then action them, schedule them, do what I need to do. But having an ideas list in one place was great for me. Uh, Cause that's that second brain mentality with getting things out of my head, things that are bouncing around this big melon of mine, uh, getting them into ClickUp as quickly as possible. So my fifth tip, and you've already seen it inside of ClickUp um, it is, is dashboards. This was probably one of my favorites and this is one of the least util utilized that I see people uh, not use inside of ClickUp. So dashboards are in a separate place. You'll, you'll see a little section for dashboards and that's different from spaces. And as you can see here, I've set up a quick dashboard. I can see what it is that I need to do today. What am I gonna be doing this week? A quick what time is it the weather task to process so again getting things quickly out of my head tasks to process ideas to process so this is, goes back to having one central place for those things and then having some quick links to different places inside of my ClickUp. having that in one platform one dashboard is super helpful as well the other one that i'm going to get into uh, we're going to be doing a whole series around my life os inside of ClickUp. again this is a separate dashboard that allows me to collect action. And then I create a lot of content as you can't figure out. So I wanna have a creator dashboard. So I've created that. Again, my ideas are in here. I can see what's in progress as far as videos in production, videos, ideas that I have, content database. And again, we're gonna break this down because we all know that as an entrepreneur, as a solopreneur, that life and work, they mix together. Uh, they intermingle uh, like no other, nobody's business these days. So that is my five quick tips for falling back in love with ClickUp. So if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I've also included some other videos here on this page, so be sure to check those out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.